It's Claire Paris with the Paris Group Realty LLC in Portland, Oregon. And today we are talking about do I do it myself or do I hire a professional? Um, it's oftentimes hard to choose, to be honest with you. Um, so I think at the end of the day, this question is going to be up to you specifically and what you feel comfortable with. But I know there's a lot of companies like, for instance, the Home Depot um, has all kinds of do-it-yourself classes. Um, the YouTube has a crazy amount of classes that you can take online to figure it out. I often go to this old house to check things out as far as how you fix things. Um, so I think it also depends on how brave you are. One, and then two, um, whether you can live with imperfection. Because of course, if you do it, no matter what you do, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be anywhere close to perfect. Um, it's not going to look like the person who does it every day, day after day. So let me give you an instance, a couple of instances. So um, gardening is a perfect example. I mean, if you don't mind experimenting, then what, you don't need to hire someone to garden. But it's very likely that, you know, the how, the plants that you put in um, to make your house look beautiful might not be the right climate. They might not be <laughs> the right match for the soil. They might be small. So it's going to take time for them to grow to and be as, you know, big and beautiful as you want them to, to be. Um you know, that's one small example of like, yeah, of course, if you hire a professional, it's going to be significantly more, but you're going to instantaneously get exactly the look that you want. Now, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it and you got to do it yourself and that's just the way it's going to be. And there are plenty of um, projects that I've done before myself and, you know, you see the imperfections, but most people are not. Um, I'll give you an example. When I first bought my first house with my brother, we refinished all the hardwood floors ourselves. So we um, rented the sanders and bought all the sandpaper and got the polyurethane and we did it all ourselves. And when I look through that house still, I can see divots where, you know, we first put down the sander and whoa, that thing took up the wood in a way that none of us were expecting. <laughs> and so, you know, there's a divot in the wood. Does anyone see it besides me? Probably not. Um, but, you know, those are the fun things that you get to tell stories about. And, you know, if you can live with it, then it's not that big of a deal. Um, another example I'll give you, we laid out our own kitchen. We didn't ask anyone to help us with that. And um, we actually, I, I had my mom lay it out for me, who was a, is an interior designer, and she had specified the um, size of each of the cabinets. And we went to the cabinet, the discount cabinet store. And the cabinet store didn't have the size, one specific size that she had specified. And we were like, well, what's the difference? We'll just make it one smaller and add another one to make that distance. Should be fine. So we get the cabinets back to the house and... We start putting them where they're supposed to be, and oh, yeah, now I understand why you did that. And what had happened is the cabinet was centered on the window, and it was no longer centered on the window, and so now we had the stove like halfway into the window. Is it something that you'd notice if you went to my house? Probably not, but I see it every freaking day when I look at it. <laughs> so invariably, if you do it yourself, there's going to be those kind of mistakes that you're just like, ah, it, you know, I learned something about it and I learned from it. Um, and now I know, but you know, there's no, there's no remedying it once that's done. Um, so for big projects like kitchen remodels, you know, tile jobs, I know everybody thinks they can do tile work, but you're going to be able to see it. There's going to be some three dimensionality to your tile work. It's not going to be straight. It's not going to look like a professional did it. Do you care? That's really the biggest question. And then the only other tip I would give you is stuff that's mechanical or electrical, you should probably hire a professional. Um, if you're installing like a new hot water heater, unless your uncle is a plumber, I probably wouldn't do it myself. But that's also, you know, if you feel comfortable, go for it. Try it. See how it goes. Um, electrical, same thing. I won't do electrical myself. <laughs> it's just too scary. Um, 
but there's plenty of people out there that I know that do do their own electrical and it's perfectly fine. So it just depends on what the risk is that you're willing to take and what you can live with. And that at the end of the day is pretty much the best advice I can give you. If you do need any references for professionals, though, I have a whole directory that I'm happy to share with you. Um, and I wish you the best in your spring projects. Take care and we'll see you next time.